Special English Economics Report. Two, Two American professors, professors will share the 2011 Nobel Prize in, in Economics. economics. Stefan Lohmann, former secretary of the Royal Swedish Academy of Science, announced the winners this week. This week. The, the Royal Swedish, Royal Swedish, Royal Swedish Academy of Science has decided, decided to award the Sveriges Riksbank Prize in Economic Science in memory of Ante Nobel 2011 to Professor Thomas J. Sargent at New York University, New York, USA, and <coughs> Professor Christopher A. Sims at Princeton University, Princeton University, Princeton, USA. Professor Sims and Sargent are both 68 years old. old. They are being they are honored, honored for work they did in the, in the 1970s, 1970s and 80s. But their, their research has, has been, been and remains important, important to, to economic, economic policy, policy in many, in many countries. countries. This, this is especially true, true in a, true in a time, time when, when death in Europe, Europe and other problems around the world have hurt economic, hurt economic growth. growth. The Nobel, Nobel Committee, Committee recognized the two, the two professors for their work, for their work in, showing in showing how policy decisions, decisions can, affect can affect the health, health of economies. Both men, men have studied how actions like raising, raising interest rates or, or cutting taxes, taxes affect things, things like, like economic, economic growth and inflation. And inflation. Professor Sargent studied the periods of high inflation in several, several European, European countries in the 1900s. His work suggested, suggested that it was important, important for governments and central, central banks, banks to, to keep, keep inflation low and interest rates stable. stable. Professor Sims suggested a new way of studying economic information over time. He has, he has used a tool of economic analysis called the Vector Autoregression Model. Such models provide ways to examine issues like whether growth in the money supply helps to predict inflation. Christopher Sims told reporters by telephone why his, his work, work and the work of Thomas Sargent was is so important, important today. I think that okay, the, method the methods that, that I've used in the Thomas Sargent are essential, essential to find uh, our finding way our way out of this mess. mess. I, think I think they point, they point to, to a way to try to, to unravel, unravel why our serious, serious problems develop and, and new research uh, using and new research Using these methods uh, may help lead us out of it. Out of it. <coughs> Professor, Professor Sargent and Sims we share prize money, prize money worth about $1.5 million. Dollars. The, prize the prize is, is officially, officially known as the, the Bank of Sweden, Sweden prize, prize in Economic Science in memory of Alfred Nobel. It was first, it was first given, given in 1969, 1969 and is the and only prize not established, established by Alfred Nobel. Nobel. And that's the VOA special... E the American professors will share the 2011 Nobel Prize in Economics. Stefan Normar, former secretary of the Royal Swedish Academy of Science, Science announced the winners this week. The Royal Swedish Academy of Science, announced the winners this week.